Welcome to Best Car Fixes. Today we are talking about the OBD2 and non OBD2 cars. What is the OBD2 onboard diagnostic system? Okay, for example, this car here is a Ford F Series 2007. It has an OBD2 connector to program those computers because before, long time ago, there is no computers like this throttle body computer, actuator, engine computer, transmission computer, sensors. ABS, there is nothing, nothing, and the car is still drive. But they add all this stuff and they put computers, you know. And now, in order for you to communicate with the computers, you have to use this port here, for example, this OBD2. All cars 1996 and up, they have this OBD2. Before 1996, you can have each car have its own diagnostic. Uh, OBD2 connector to do. For example, you want to know if the sensor is bad, like this sensor, and the check engine light come on, you have to connect the tools here through here and diagnose the car. At the opposite side, the example of non-OBD2, here we have this beautiful car. Okay, no remote, door lock, unlock, nothing, and this is 1986. I don't know, who can tell me what car is this? That's the sign of it. How beautiful is that? The ignition so ignition key, no remote start, no security, nothing. The radio is here, so beautiful. And now, this is the car. Honestly, I don't even know how to pronounce this name, but it's so beautiful in its type. And here it is. This car here does not has any kind of uh, electrical. I mean, electronic. No, this is the electrical standard. When first star come, this is the name, this is, this is the name. Okay, here it is, signal, third signal, radio, no ABS, everything, yes? So this is the difference between um, newer cars that have electronics and older cars that doesn't have electronics. Mitsubishi Pajero Mini, so beautiful, nice car, but as you see, steering is right. In US, you cannot get a lot of car with the right steering. Okay, I know in Europe. And this is called Mitsubishi and uh, it is Mini. They call it Mitsubishi Pajero Mini. As you see here, that is Mini. Okay, or this one is OBD2, by the way. Or you have this one here, is a Jeep. And what year is this one here? Is a 1986 also. 86, I don't believe you're gonna get any kind of uh, computers on 86. Let me see. No? You see here, this is 1986. That's the battery. You see where the battery is? If you don't know why the people put the battery like this, I don't know, that's how I see it. And instead of a stand up, it's coming down on the side battery. <laughs> Maybe those people, they just put it like that. I'm not sure. This is a brake with a hydraulic, uh, hydraulic brakes power steering pump, alternator, that's a horn, oil relays, you know those relays, you see you have two relays here, you have another one, two, three relays there. I believe this car have a computer distributor. Hmm. If you have a distributor, believe me, this car is supposed to have a computer. This is 86, yeah. You know where the computer is? That's the computer. And this is OBD1, Chrysler, plug and play. It have a place where you can put the OBD2 and diagnose it. You see, this is the connector. That's the connector. You call it OBD1. You see, this is the connector. If you have DRB, DRB3 or DRB1, you'll be able to connect it. I don't even see it well. Yeah, this one. You can connect it and read the data and diagnose the car. But some 86, they don't have it. Okay. Thank you for watching best car fixes please subscribe and share and you know how 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 beautiful they made it on the road you cannot tell if this is 86 or 96 10 year older you know they made it so beautiful please subscribe share and like Muhammad Harun Idris and see you in another video and thank you for your participation and visiting my channel see you in another video